Hi, I'm Mike Zicardo, and today I'm going to show you deploying Hyperledger Fabric onto Kubernetes using CloudSoft AMP. We will begin with a Kubernetes cluster already deployed by AMP. We can view the status of this cluster in the app dashboard. As you can see, all of the components of this cluster are healthy, so we are ready to deploy Hyperledger Fabric onto it. To do so, we will head over to the Blueprint Composer's YAML editor. Then we will copy the example YAML blueprint from our repository, which contains a generic Kubernetes endpoint, and paste it into the editor. Before we deploy, we'll need to make one minor adjustment. The blueprint must contain the endpoint of our Kubernetes cluster. We'll simply copy the URL and port of our cluster and paste it into the blueprint, on top of the example. And with that, we are now ready to deploy Hyperledger Fabric onto Kubernetes. So we simply click Deploy. Using the App Inspector, we can view the live status of all our Fabric components as they are being deployed. If you're familiar with Hyperledger Fabric, then you will recognize all of the components, the Validating Peer nodes, the Membership Services node, and the CLI node. After a few minutes, our Fabric cluster is fully deployed and ready to be used. If we examine the live model, we'll see that each Fabric component consists of a Kubernetes pod and service. The pod is responsible for the running container, and the service is responsible for exposing the necessary ports. If we head over to the Kubernetes UI, we will see all of the same Fabric components running as we expect. For more information about deployments, replica sets, and pods, please consult the extensive Kubernetes documentation for thorough definitions. Finally, we will perform a manual verification that our cluster is healthy. Heading back to AMP, we will look for a sensor exposed by the root validating peer that contains the URL and port of its REST API, as exposed by the Kubernetes service. Using curl, we will issue a request against the network slash peers API, which lists all of the nodes connected to the validating peer. The output of this REST call should contain all four peers, VP0, VP1, VP2, and VP3. And with that, we've successfully deployed a Hyperledger Fabric cluster onto Kubernetes using CloudSoft AMP. It's easy to get started with the all-new CloudSoft AMP 4 just head to getamp4.cloudsoft.io. Thanks for watching.